In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you, and I love you, one with Louisa, creature to whom the divine will reveals the most mysterious and hidden secrets of the Supreme Being. Louisa, creature who the divine will makes aware of the Supreme Being's love. Louisa, creature who the divine will makes aware of the flames that burn the Supreme Being. Louisa, creature who the divine will never leaves alone and runs in order to place its life there. Louisa, creature whose acts the divine will takes lives from in order to give divine life, life of grace, life of light, life of sanctity to other creatures. Louisa, creature whose acts the divine will takes lives from in order to give life of glory to the whole celestial court. Louisa, one who lives in the divine will, and by means of her, the divine will wants to give itself to everyone. Louisa, creature of whom the divine will formed the fullness of its masterpiece and carried her to heaven as triumph and victory of its power and divine art. Louisa, Jesus's blessed daughter, Louisa, one who the triune God gave the right to their works. Jesus and Mary, I love you and glory to my creator, one with Louisa, one who had the triune God's works in her power to love them as much as she wants, to give them glory in an infinite way, to do good to whomever she wants. Louisa, one who not only took the rights over the triune God's works, but over he who has created everything. Louisa, one whose right of her human littleness over the divine being are sweet and loving chains that make them love their creative work with a more intense and stronger love. Louisa, one who is beautiful and is all God's, and God is all hers. Louisa, one who the triune God loves with eternal love, and she loves them with eternal love. Louisa, one who is as connatural. Louisa, one who unites herself to the creating act to do what it does. Louisa, one in whose union with the creating act, God forms the marriage together. Louisa, one who gives the triune God love and glory in all created things. Louisa, one who receives the merits of the so many goods that the sun does to the earth and the good that all created things do. Louisa, who Jesus is within, he is hers and at her disposition. Louisa, Jesus's wounds, blood and sufferings are hers. Louisa, who can do with Jesus whatever she wants as brave. Louisa, 
who can do with Jesus whatever she wants as lover. Louisa, who can do with Jesus whatever she wants as Jesus' true imitator. Louisa, who takes Jesus' blood to give it to whoever she wants. Louisa, who takes Jesus' wounds to heal the wounds of sinners. Louisa, who takes Jesus' life to give the life of grace, of sanctity, of love, of divine will to all souls. Louisa, who takes Jesus' death in order to make many souls dead in sin rise again. Louisa, to whom Jesus gives all the freedom. Louisa, who thinks of making everything redound to Jesus' glory and of how to make him be loved. Louisa, to whom the divine will gives the flight to make her bring Jesus' blood, his wounds, his kisses, his paternal tenderness to his children and to her brothers. Louisa, whose soul is embalmed with the triune God's divine peace. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter, of his volition. Louisa, who makes a growth of every truth of the divine fiat that Jesus manifests to her. Louisa, every truth is a sip she drinks of the immense sea of the divine will and one more divine property she acquired. Louisa, whose each additional act in the divine will, the triune God prepares before her their celestial table. Louisa, who in loving the divine will feeds with God's love. Louisa, who in understanding the divine will feeds with God's wisdom. Louisa, God is her predilect food. Louisa, in all she does, the divine will feeds her with the triune God's power, goodness, sweetness, strength, light, and their mercy. Louisa, who gives to the triune God her littleness. Louisa, creature in whom the triune God develops the life of their will. Louisa, creature who is the beautiful statue. Louisa, creature who is the repeater of the triune God's life. Louisa, creature in whom God remains imprisoned in his divine virtues. Louisa, creature who the divine will gives the kiss of the divine volition in a way that the human family feels its power, its love that wants to reign. Louisa, in whom Jesus completes the labor of his will. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of the divine volition. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, creature to whom perfect order renders dominator of herself, dominator of all created things. Louisa, creature whose dominion is divine 
and who dominates over the divine will and over everyone. Louisa, creature who binds herself to everyone and gives herself to everyone. Louisa, creature who takes and makes hers the strength of creation. Louisa, creature who takes and makes hers the strength of the saints in heaven. Louisa, creature who takes and makes hers the very divine strength. Louisa, creature who feels in herself the peace, the joy, the happiness of the celestial sojourn. Louisa, creature who has a place in everyone and everyone finds a little place in her. Louisa, creature who loves with the same love that the Creator himself loves everyone. Louisa, creature who no one is able to touch but Jesus. Louisa, creature who the divine will invests with her act, with its creative strength, and renews its divine life. Louisa, creature in whose operating the divine will seals the sanctity of its works and gives her new merit and glory. Louisa, creature in whom there is the supreme being's creating and growing act. Louisa, creature who the supreme being covers with their divine being. Louisa, creature who the Supreme Being harmonizes with to enjoy themselves with her and to give her of theirs. Louisa, creature who makes the Supreme Being's echoes hers, loves them, places them in feast and gives them the pure joys that they want. Louisa, the Sovereign Queen's Beloved Daughter. Louisa, Jesus' Blessed Daughter. Louisa, creature whose acts in the Divine Will have so much value and glory that she gives the Supreme Being. Louisa, creature who is the Supreme Being's crown. Louisa, creature who embraces the eternal one. Louisa, creature at whose disposition the supreme being places its divine being. Louisa, one who the supreme being gave the first support, the first defense of their truths. Louisa, fortunate one, who the light of the truths do not move from. Louisa, fortunate one, who the light of the truths invests, caresses, moulds, kisses, and gives itself sip by sip to her intelligence. Louisa, one who lives in the eternal volition, who Jesus gave the great dowry, divine dowry, of all the knowledges, immense values, worth, love he manifested about the divine will. Louisa, creature who submits herself to the divine will and comes as the triune God's daughter to live in it. Louisa, Creature who the triune God pours forth new seas of love over, so great she feels herself drowned. Louisa, creature who makes a gift of the seas of love she has received to everyone, 
to all created things, to the saints, the angels, to her creator himself, to the hearts disposed on the poor earth. Louisa, creature who forms the place for the triune God in her, to let them operate as God in her tiny little field. Louisa, who has the triune God's power and love in her power. Louisa, who is able to enrapture the divine fiat in order to let it reign in the midst of the human generations. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, creature who gave herself to the triune God, to the mercy of their volition, and they gave themselves to her, abandoning themselves into her bosom. Louisa, creature in whom the triune God left their grace and good, and repeated for her the renewal of their life. Louisa, creature who in giving herself to the triune God, they gave her the merit that she has given them her life. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with Louisa, creature who feels the ardent heartbeats, the love that consumes the triune God of how they love her and want to be loved. Louisa, creature who enters into created things. Louisa, creature who recognizes the deposit of love of the triune God in each created thing. Louisa, creature who lets her love resound in the triune gods and prepares a table for her creator. Louisa, who gives the triune god the food of love that sweetens them in the sun's light. Louisa, who gives the triune god the joys of so many tastes of their love in the sun's light. Louisa, who in loving the triune God acquires the divine fecundity in her love, the virtue of wounding them and burning and consuming herself for them. Louisa, who in loving the triune God in the variety of colors acquires the virtue of the beautiful love and remains clothed with an enchanting beauty. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' volition. Louisa, the soul who runs toward the triune God and they run toward her. Louisa, the soul who the divine will invests with light. Louisa, the soul who the divine love kisses. Louisa, the soul who the divine power takes in its arms. Louisa, the soul who the divine wisdom directs. Louisa, the soul who the divine sanctity invests and places itself there as seal. Louisa, the soul who the divine beauty embellishes. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine being places all of itself in attitude around, in order to give her of theirs. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine being feels restored to them the purpose for which they created her, and they make feast. Louisa, the soul renewed in the divine being, who they give new charismas of love. Louisa, the soul who lives in the divine volition, 
and keeps the divine being in feast. Louisa The soul who feels the need to be coddled by her creator, and they feel the need of being coddled by her and giving her new charismas of grace and of sanctity. Louisa The soul whose name becomes written in heaven with indelible characters of light. Louisa, the soul who becomes enrolled in the celestial militia as heiress and daughter of the kingdom of the divine will. Louisa, the soul confirmed in good. Louisa, the soul confirmed in the goods, in the love, in the sanctity, etc. of her creator. Louisa, the soul invested by the prerogative of the reclaimed part. Louisa, the soul who is as officiating of the celestial militia, not as exiled. Louisa, the soul who has all the goods at her disposition. Louisa, the soul who feels herself possessor of her creator. Louisa, the soul whose dissimilarity between her and God does not exist anymore. Louisa, the soul who feels so loved by her creator as to feel her heart burst with love in order to love he who loves her. Louisa, the soul in whom God finds their life, their reigning will, their love. Louisa, the soul who has given Jesus the most noble, the most precious part, that is, her will. Louisa, the soul who has given Jesus the interior and exterior, even the breath. Louisa, the soul who has merited to be written in the divine army in a way that everyone will know that she belongs to the divine militia. Louisa, the soul who Jesus keeps in his heart and lets her have his life itself. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, to whom Jesus' love pours out the manifestations of the celestial mysteries. Jesus and Mary, I thank you and I esteem you, one with Louisa, one in whom the Supreme Being is free to form their life. Louisa, celestial creature who the Supreme Being develops their creative art around. Louisa, one who possesses her creator and their will operating in her. Louisa, one who is bearer of everyone and everything. Louisa, one whose thinking brings to the Supreme Being the thoughts of everyone. Louisa, one who is supplier and repairer of all the human intelligences. Louisa, one who carries the words, the works, the steps of everyone as she speaks, works, and walks. Louisa, one who creation itself makes a decorous cortege for. Louisa, one who acts as bearer of the sky, of the stars, of the sun, of the wind of everything, and does not leave anything behind. Louisa, one who brings the Supreme Being 
the homage, the glory of all their created things, even the sweet song of the tiny little bird. Louisa, one who all created things makes a crown for, wanting to be carried by she who possesses the speaking act. Louisa, one who acquires the supreme being's jealousy of love. Louisa, one who is never alone, first being with her creator, then all things being around her, she acts as bearer of everything to him whom she loves. Louisa, blessed daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, the soul who arrived at the apex of the highest sanctity and enclosed in herself a complete act. Louisa, the soul who loves in the divine fiat, and the wave of love reigns on her everywhere, invests her most intimate fibres, and her nature converts into love. Louisa, the soul who takes her creator by storm and always loves him. Louisa, creature who decided with immovable firmness to live in the divine volition, whose acts and works formed the little divine life in her soul. Louisa, one who feels that Jesus' love and his volition are hers. Louisa, one in who Jesus' life will always grow, the merits will never end, she has divine merits. Louisa, one who continues to admire and live in the divine will, who knows Jesus more and he loves her more and increases her glory. Louisa, one in whose every act Jesus runs to give her his kiss, his love, in order to recognize her, that she is his, and give her the value, the merit, as if he were to have done it. Louisa, one in whom the triune God wants to content in everything, and in her they find the purpose of creation realized, and all the glory that all things must give them centralized. Louisa, blessed daughter of Jesus' volition. Louisa, the soul who lives in the sea of the divine will and murmurs in it. Louisa, the soul who is the perfect echo of the divine fiat, who never ceases murmuring, love, glory, adoration. Louisa, the soul who lets the divine will reign, whose love is fertile. Louisa, the soul who feels in herself the creative strength of the divine being's love and places herself in their same conditions in loving and operating. Louisa, the soul who, by possessing the divine will, is secure in the divine being. Louisa, the soul who possesses the divine will, and in her the triune God are in their house, with all the decorum, the honours, the decency that befits them. Louisa, the soul who possesses the creative fiat itself, and gives to the supreme being the gift of her life. Louisa, the soul whose love remains with the fullness of divine life because she gives herself to the mercy of her creator. Louisa, the soul who receives life in gift and life she gives. Louisa, creature who possessing the divine will 
is capable of receiving the joys of creation. Luisa, creature who possessing the divine will, is capable of giving the triune God the glory, the love, the reciprocation for how much they have done for her, and of doing all the possible and imaginable good that the creature can do. Luisa, daughter who Jesus loves, and who Jesus makes everyone and everything love her. Luisa, daughter who loves Jesus for everyone and everything. Luisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Jesus and Mary, I esteem you and I honor you, one with Luisa, the soul for whom there is perfect harmony in love. Luisa, the soul for whom the paternal goodness is so great. Luisa, little daughter of Jesus' will. Luisa, who enters the divine will and remains renewed and magnetized. Luisa, who feels the divine will's investing divine empire, the celestial balm that changes her nature and makes her rise again to new life. Luisa, creature in whose act the divine will feels its own empire and feels forced to give what she wants. Luisa, creature who with her love makes the triune God loved and obtains love for them. Luisa, creature who in wanting the divine will to reign brings the triune God to the point of praying that all may receive it. Luisa, one who the Supreme Being puts in their same conditions. Luisa, creature who recognizes herself as the grace, participation, and expression of the Supreme Being's love and will. Luisa, creature whose love God is at the head of, and their love is one single love. Luisa, creature whose thoughts God is at the head of. Luisa, creature of whose speaking God is the source of her words. Luisa, creature of whose works God is the prime actor operating. Luisa, creature who in walking, God leads her steps. Luisa, creature whose life is in God, and the life of God is within her. Luisa, the soul who lives in the divine will, who God cannot leave their love, power, acts apart from. Luisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Luisa, creature in whom the fullness of the divine will grows. Luisa, creature in whom the fullness of the divine strength grows. Luisa, creature in whom the fullness of the divine sanctity, beauty, happiness, the knowledge, grows. Luisa, creature in whom the fullness of the innumerable goods that the divine fiat possesses, grows. Luisa, creature in whom the triune God recognizes their strength, their beauty, and they love her. Luisa, creature who is for the triune God, 
the bearer of their joys, of their goods. Louisa, creature before who the triune God's love swells up, overflowing from them and pouring into her to fill her up. Louisa, creature who the divine love forms around and inside of her the triune God's maze of fidgeting love, the ardent desire to make grow the fullness of their will. Louisa, the soul aware of all of God's works. Louisa, one who is spectator of the divine prodigies. Louisa, one who feels as if she is receiving continuously the Son, generated by the Father and the Holy Spirit, who always proceeds. Louisa, one who receives much of joys, love and graces. Louisa, one who gives the Supreme Being the glory that they always generate in their will. Louisa, one who finds the whole creation in action. Louisa, one who the Supreme Being gives by right, the all, the goods of creation. Louisa, one who is the first glorifier of the many things the Supreme Being created. Louisa, one who finds the conceived Virgin, her seas of love, all her life, and the Virgin makes her possess it all. Louisa, creature who takes all and glorifies the triune God for the great good they did when they created the celestial creature, the conceived virgin. Louisa, creature who finds the descent of the word, his birth, his tears, his palpitating life and his pains, and God makes her take all and she possesses all. Louisa, creature who glorifies the triune God and loves them for everyone and everything. Jesus and Mary, I honor you and I cherish you, one with Louisa, creature who living in the divine will can say that all is hers, even God himself as well as the divine will. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine will seals the model of its wisdom. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine will seals the model of its creative word. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine will seals the model of the sanctity of its works. Louisa, of whom the triune God became life of her life. Louisa, of whom the triune God became heartbeat of her heart. Louisa, of whom the triune God became love of her love. Louisa, whose human will served her God and formed his delights. Louisa, whose human will formed God's shelf, his throne, his divine chamber. Louisa, who gave Jesus his royal place in her will. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, abandoned in the arms of the divine volition. Louisa, who the divine will forms its seas of love around. 
Louisa, whose destiny is assured, that she will live on the triune God's same food. Louisa, who has common goods with the triune God. Louisa, who lives in the divine will, who the triune God is all eyes to watch. Louisa, who calls the divine will to live in her, who the triune God is all ears to listen to. Louisa, creature whose little love the triune God is all love to place their great love on. Louisa, to whom the triune God tells the story of their will, the long story of their eternal love. Louisa, how much the triune God loves her. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of his will. Louisa, whose littleness remains dissolved in the divine will. Louisa, whose mind the divine will invests. Louisa, one who receives the divine will and God confirms the gift. Louisa, the first one who disposed herself to receive the triune God's gift, who they love so much. Louisa, who the triune God trusts. Louisa, the triune God's secretary. Louisa, who makes the commitment to love the triune God for all. Louisa, who is disposed to listen to the divine will, who gives life to God's word. Louisa, the one who listens and loves the triune God so much, who they feel wants to give them life in the midst of creatures, so they give their life at her disposal. Louisa, who in calling everyone, Jesus feels loved by all. Louisa, pilgrim soul, whose acts in the divine will gain the merit of every good she does, and it becomes a common merit, common joy, love and glory. Louisa, whose call the angels and saints long for to have this great good. Louisa, whose merit runs to heaven to give new love and new happiness to the celestial residence. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, one who the love of the divine will locks inside the intimate hiding places of its loving secrets. Louisa, one who the love of the divine will shows its intimate creation of ever new and increasing love. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you, one with Louisa, one to whom the love of the divine will reveals new arcane and celestial secrets of their divinity. Louisa, one to whom the love of the divine will gives more news on how she can reach its loving power and the prodigies of this power for those who live in it. Louisa, creature to whom the divine will gets the taste for telling new things to, giving her new surprises of love. 
Louisa, creature who the divine will makes itself small within, though still remaining immense. Louisa, the creature who loves Jesus the way he loves her. Louisa, creature whose acts the divine will leads into the womb of their divinity and becomes eternal. Louisa, creature in whom the divine will reigns and in whom the supreme being can do all, pour out their love. Louisa, creature completely disposed to do what the supreme being wants and they imitate each other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fiat. You have reached the end of Day 33 of the Titles of Louisa. Fiat.